Oh well, I guess I'll just walk over. Oh, I'm losing my balance. I'm gonna have to catch my balance on this door and look at. Oh, darn it! Another door. <laughs> Hey everybody, and welcome to Subway Secrets Part 3, Secrets in Plain Sight. I don't know if you watched my previous Subway Secrets episodes, <coughs> links in the description, but I happened across one comment on Part 1 that really stood out. Francis Bodea writes, This video is cringy. I stayed for the secrets, but I can't stomach another one. Cringy. Cringy! Well, Francis, was that over there? And I linked Part 2 in her comment because I'm petty. You can see the, uh... The little area over there, it's like, I'm not sure what the deal is with all that over there. Okay, maybe she had a point. So I'm making this episode more about secrets and less about writing and commenting on random things I see in the subway. So let's start here. Did you know the entrance to the old Court Street station is right here in downtown Brooklyn at Summerhorn and Boerum Place? No, for real, like you can go into it. It's crazy. It's even full of super old subway trains and stuff that you can actually go on. Somebody even took the time to like write a bunch of facts about them and okay, this is obviously the New York Transit Museum, but it is built in a subway station that was abandoned for decades after it closed. The Court Street Station, which is what this is, was built as a terminus for the local trains of the IND Fulton Street Line and opened on April 9th, 1936. The only trains to serve the station were part of the Court Street Shuttle that took passengers from Court Street to the transfer station at Hoyt Summerhorn Street. That's what those currently unused tracks at Hoyt Skimmerhorn are all about. They connect to the Transit Museum. Anyway, the downtown Brooklyn area had a bunch of stations already, so Court Street never saw much traffic and was abandoned on June 1st, 1946. But in 1976, they cleaned her up real good and opened the temporary New York Transit exhibit inside the station, which was so popular that they made Court Street the permanent location of what is now the New York Transit Museum. This is not a paid endorsement. I just really think the Transit Museum is something truly unique in this world, and I love it. But now, on to the real secrets. I'm here at Dean Street in Brooklyn near the Franklin Avenue shuttle line. There used to be a station entrance here. I won't go into the full history of it, but for our concerns, know that it served the Franklin Avenue line. Yeah, the one that originates like a few blocks north of here pretty close by. But there was a station entrance here until 1995. That's when the transit authority shut it down because of, well, it was in really bad condition and hardly anybody used it. I mean, in 1985, Dean Street Station only had 133 daily paying customers. Anyway, the elevated part of the Franklin Avenue shuttle line was rebuilt in the late 90s, so they kind of erased it. All that remains of the Dean Street Station is this oddly short lamppost. I looked for more, but it really looks like there's nothing left. But anyway, on to the next secret. South 4th Street in Brooklyn. This is where you can find the Underbelly Project, but first we're going to look for signs of the station here in the Broadway station of the G-Train. Joseph Brennan writes, look for traces of stairways up at the north end of the platform and mezzanine. I don't think that's a former stairway, although it does look like there was some strange amount of empty space up there, but that might just be uh, leftover water damage from, you know, the hurricanes. Oh, hey, I'm going to have to go check that out. That looks like it shouldn't be there. All right, and the cinder blocks look, you know, kind of newish compared to the rest of the station. Nothing down there. Yeah, this is definitely water damage. I could see the tiles are different, but the, the concrete bottom is the same. I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's something up to the fact that that's, there's so much space up there. That, 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 that ventilation really wouldn't work, would it? Would it? Anyway, let's go to the end. Did they just put these pipes in for drainage recently? They're really super low. Like, and there's a cane on the floor. Anyway, come on, let, what? Man, did this, I can't tell if this station suffered a ton of water damage. Or if they just didn't... Okay, it looks like that's damaged. It looks like it was finished and then then not. All right, so anyway, let's have a peek in here and see what we can see in the... Whoa! This is storage right now, and it smells really bad. You can't use... But it definitely looks like something that was not built to be just storage. It's pretty big. Can't really see much. Really should have taken a better picture. Mm, this this low light this camera's terrible in low light. 
If you want to know the history of the South 4th Street quote unquote station, Benjamin Kabak, 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 uh, whatever, Second Avenue Sagas guy, uh, goes into detail about it. I'll drop a link in the description. It was never even used for passenger service. What a waste. So in 2009, a group of artists covered an abandoned station with paintings and murals. In one of the videos about it, I'll leave that link in the description, Jesus Saves NYC writes, If you want to enter the Underbelly Project from outside, the permanent two-sided closed gates is across the street from the 90th precinct. The two-sided gates is narrow as if it was a train station entry. I read that um, verbatim. This looks like the gate Jesus mentioned in... Yep. It's totally locked. Well, to be fair, the location of the Underbelly Project was never officially disclosed by transit officials or the Underbelly organizers, so it might not even be here. But nah, it's probably here. Oh well. I guess I was just hoping there was a glitch in the system. Wait, what's this in the middle of the road? Are those train tracks that have been paved over? Several hours later. So after some research, it looks like these tracks very well could be remnants of the old BMT trolley lines that used to run through Brooklyn. If you overlay the Google Maps location of these tracks with the 1930s BMT map, it kind of lines up. I mean, there's Johnson Street. This is the best explanation I could come up with, and it would be pretty crazy if this little section of track had just been paved over time and time again for 60 plus years now. I mean, I wouldn't put it past the DOT, right? If you have a better explanation, leave it in the comments. I'd love to read other takes on this. But for now, on to Roosevelt Avenue! Okay, no, whatever. Let's go to Roosevelt Avenue. Okay, the Roosevelt Avenue station is already pretty big. But there were plans to make it even bigger. A lot of it was even built, but was still never used. For Roosevelt Avenue, Joseph Brennan writes, To reach the abandoned station, go to the mezzanine and exit at 75th Street and Broadway. Okay. The wide passage goes up a ramp, check, and ends where the cinder block walls block the rest. Oh, yay, it blocks through. Okay. The unused station starts inside the walled area. Oh, come on. It's walled off. Oh, wait. There's, 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 I'm just going to casually walk by, check out this. Hey, this is... Okay. That was kind of cool. I think that might have been part of it. Who knows? But uh, that was a big area in there that could just be regular. Okay, this is the station I think that Brennan was talking about. Video sur surveillance cameras. Yes. Oh, this door is open. Ah, uh, I can't open the door. The camera's going to catch me if I open the door. Uh, oh, well, I guess I just walk over. Oh, I'm losing my balance. I'm going to have to catch my balance on this door and look out. Oh, darn it. Another door. <laughs> darn it. Oh, maybe there's something up here. Uh, whatever the station is, it's under this building here. And, uh, I don't know, maybe something down here in the drainage? Let's see. Nope. Nada. Well, I guess that's all we're going to see of the uh, Roosevelt Avenue station extension. Don't forget to like Subway Secrets Part 3 and subscribe to the channel. I like doing these, so if you have ideas for areas I should explore for a future episode, leave it in the comments below. Just keep in mind, I don't plan to break any laws while filming.